So we got another brother dealing with a female that's, you know, cheating and all of that. But see, when some of them get caught up cheating, they want to do some outlandish things to try to get you as a man to stay. Case in point, I want you to watch this guy. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. And everybody see, I'm right here, just like she did on my birthday a couple years ago when I told her grandmother she was in the bathroom beating herself up. She mad because she out here cheating, telling that they can get her pregnant and all that. I'm not upset. I just want her to acknowledge that she's up, but she tell my fucking kid. Get out of the bathroom, bro. Nothing do crazy on my way home. Cheated on me, cheated. She broke. Dumbass. Now, for me, I have a major problem with this video. I'm talking about more so for that dude, because he said that this isn't the first time she's cheated and then she tried some outlandish things. Remember, he, he said that she was beating herself up in the bathroom another time when she was cheating on him and wanted to get pregnant by other dudes. First and foremost, I don't understand why any man would put up with a crazy female like that because that female is going to get you arrested. You understand? All she can do is beat herself up in the bathroom, call them folks and say you did it. And you know good and well how it is when them white folks show up and it's a black man, they ready just to take you to jail or, or, or pull out some guns or whatever else they trying to do to you that day. Understand? You do not be with any kind of woman that's crazy like that at all. Matter of fact, fellas, if you even catch a hint of her cheating, if you see her laughing with a dude too much, flirting too much or whatever. You cut her off. Let me tell you something, fellas. Cutting them off is the best thing you can do. If she cheats, you don't get mad. You don't try to do anything about it. Say, okay, cool. You know, and just move on with what you got going on. That's it. The only time you, you get a little, you know, uh, definitely put hands on somebody. If you walk in your house, in your house, and you see something going on in your house, then you have every right to do something to somebody in your own house. But if it's not nothing like that, man, look, let her go. I don't care what she do. You know, I'm going to do this to myself. Well, that's you. I don't care. The fact is, I'm protecting myself. And number one is about my health. I don't know what some old dirty, lame dude you were fooling with. That's first and foremost. I'm not trying to catch no uh, venereal disease out here. That's first and foremost. Two, you're tainted at that point. I, I can't fool with you no more. You, 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 you laid down with another man. And, and, and you allowed him to go up in you and do whatever else you submitted yourself to him. No, you are tainted. I don't even want to touch you that that's how much, that's how tainted you are to me. You understand? And, and, and when men, you need to get that in your mind, like don't ever take them back because they're tainted at that point. Ain't nothing about her is, is worthy of forgiveness. No, because she submitted herself to that. You understand? So even the first time you hear something like that, like just go on by your business. I don't care if it hurts your feelings. Let me tell you something. It is the truth. Time do heal all wounds, fellas. It heals all wounds. And then another thing, you as a man and your ego is not going to let you stay with her too long because it's going to eat you up. Every time you see her somewhere, you'll be thinking about what is she doing? You know what I'm saying? So now, uh-uh, just, just let her go, but don't ever stay with a female number one cheating on you and ever, and don't ever be with them when they're pulling crazy things. Don't ever do that. No, you, this dude right here looking to go to jail. But leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this situation. Fellas, have you ever dealt with a woman like that? Are you dealing with a woman like that now? And you're contemplating leaving, let us know.